What is going on everyone? It is Kieran the Barber. I am back again with another video. Today we have a mid skin fade side part. I hope you enjoy the video. As always, do not forget to like, subscribe, comment. So as we're starting off from our last video, the subject of the week this week is positivity. Now us barbers, we are all positive. Ask yourself if what you're doing today is getting you closer to where you want to be tomorrow. And being inside this video right now, I can see you are trying. This here is a beginner tutorial on how to do a high skin fade side part. So starting off, what we're doing is we are removing bulk. We're taking out that first bit. We're setting up our guideline. It's probably the most important part of the haircut is getting that guideline right. So making sure your guideline's straight. Me personally, I don't like to go in with the clipper. You'll notice I come upwards to take out that guideline because sometimes, especially um, with these trimmers here, they're quite sharp. So putting in a guideline, going around it, lining it up, it can sometimes be a bit too harsh and then it's really, really hard to get out. So what I like to do is I just like to run my trimmer up the hair and make the line myself like that. Little tip for everyone, if you are new here, dry shampoo is my thing. When we're using dry shampoo, it creates a barrier on the hair. Not only does that, it is cold. It makes the hair stand on end. Therefore, when you're foiling, it makes the hair stand on end. It takes it off a bit more. It makes that um, skin fade a little, little bit shorter. So yeah, running that foils up and down. Honestly, take time using the foils, especially if you're a beginner. Do not rush foiling because what you can do is with the foils, you can rush it and then there's bits. Best thing to do, especially if you're a beginner um, and you think you finished foiling, is stretch the skin out with your thumb, stretch it out and rub your hand across it and still if you can still feel stubble. If you can still feel stubble, keep the skin stretched, keep rubbing that foil off and eventually what will happen is that will become really, really smooth. Um, and you'll get, a, you'll really benefit that. Your client will benefit as well because when they feel their head, they'll feel it's smooth as well. They feel like you haven't missed bits. It's a little tip. So then coming in with my clippers, what I'm doing is I'm starting off with a number two. Usually with a number two or a one and a half open, I'll just open that out. I'll take off the bulk, get ready. It's like, it's like an oil painting really. I'm removing that bulk, I'm removing that weight to start my fade. That's the main bit of this thing is to just start removing that bulk getting that fade in stuck I personally like to blend down so I'll go from a one and a half to a, a one and a half closed to a one open to a one closed to a zero open to a zero closed and then what I'll do is I'll have no guard open no guard closed and then do a slight little bit of trigger play so I can get that fade nice and perfect I'm sure you're annoyed of hearing my voice now guys so I'm gonna let you listen to some beautiful music um, I should be back in a minute but guys just before I leave, do not, if you are new to this channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. So guys, what we're doing is we're repeating exactly the same steps. Yes, I have changed my trimmer. The other one ran out of bat, so I just needed to charge it. It has been a busy, busy week. So um, sometimes you'll see me flick between trimmers. 
Um, they're gapped really, really similar, especially when you're foiling, it doesn't really matter. I wouldn't, if I was using trimmers all the way around, then I would tend to keep to stick to the same ones. But as I'm foiling, it doesn't matter what we're doing is here in this part, we're just removing the hair. So it's not a big issue about changing trimmers or changing um, clippers. But yeah, so we're just using exactly the same thing, exactly the same style. We're gonna dry shampoo it, foil it, and then we're gonna remove the bulk and fade down. Um, and hopefully we shall be starting to see that fade just start to come into play. Guys, um, how's your week been? How are you doing? Again, if you are new to my channel, hi, where are you from? I always ask my people where I'm from. I got a lot of people this week. So from my last video from Ireland, I had a lot of people from America on my last video. Um, no one's really from the UK. If you're from the UK, comment down below. Shout, shout out where you're from, man, because, you know, I'm here. I'm from the UK, a little town called Ellsbury. Ellsbury got voted the worst town in the UK. Let me tell you, I live here. It's not that bad. It's not that bad at all. There's there's a couple of crackheads. Um, I want to say there's quite a lot of crackheads, to be fair. But, you know, I'm not one of them. Um, and our shop never gets bothered by them. So where, where we're at, we're in a really good location and it's not bad at all. So yeah, I hope you're enjoying this video. So now lining up this beard, Jordan wanted a skin beard from the top of the ear. So he didn't want it to look thick all the way around. He wanted that tapered right low. So it gives it a look of he's got hardly any beard on stubble across his cheeks, but then coming down to where his goatee is, he wanted that to be nice and thick still. So you can blend pretty much, it's just reverse, it's reverse fading. So instead of coming from zero and going up, you go zero and you bring that down. And what they'll do is, is you can see I'm coming zero and then a half and then a one and we're just and then that bit there is a one and a half and we're just slowly slowly blending that in tapering that in the dry shampoo trick again is incredible I use dry shampoo on the bottom of his neck and the top of his cheek to go around my edges and the best thing about when you're using a razor with a dry shampoo is you've got clarity and where your lines is so you know exactly where your line is when you're dry shampooing all the way around and that is the um that's the best thing about that So even though this is a side part, we still like to put texture in the hair. So I'm just gonna chip in 
to all the hair. I'm not gonna club cut it. I'm just gonna give it loads and loads of texture. It gives Jordan um, the option of wearing both so he can either wear it where it's pushed over and it looks really smart for like his day job. He works as a car salesman so it looks really smart. Or let's say when he's in the gym or when he's going out with his missus, he can texture that up, uh, make it look really nice, really messy, and it still gives. So pretty much what he's getting is he's getting out of one hair cut, he's getting two or three hair styles out of it, just by the way we're cutting it. That is a really key feature, is that you can make more than one hairstyle out of a haircut. So finishing off, a little bit of hairspray, making it look good. He's got to go back to work. So cleaning him up absolutely perfect guys this is coming up to the end of the video if you've enjoyed the video do not forget to subscribe click the link um if you've made it all the way to the end give me a little like if we can get to maybe um 100 likes on this video that would be absolutely incredible um yeah and i shall see you all in the next video let me know comment down below when you want to see next peace